Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning to some of you, anyway, depending on where you are. But I'd obviously, I know, I know, in the UK, it is the afternoon. But yeah, I'm Dan from Trading with Dan. This is our Bitcoin morning update. But yeah, apologies for being a bit later. Um, I was, um, I was basically doing some TV stuff last night, so that'll be that'll be on TV. Um, <laughs> come, I think May, I think. But yeah, you can see my fre my fresh TV trim as well. Um, so yeah, um, so anyway, right, so basically, um, let's go and have a look at Bitcoin on the four hour charts. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty sure we were saying we were looking when we were up here yesterday morning, we were kind of saying looking for a back test of this 55k level, um, potentially we're going to make it higher um because obviously just printing a higher low relative to this high but obviously on that back test um it was then a case of do we get supported or do we um do we lose the level so if this is a pretty much as textbook as you as you can get forward check back check and paycheck so we broke above the resistance we came back and back tested it and then obviously um obviously then bounced it and came and tapped out basically tapped the top the top of the of the range um so yeah pretty pretty textbook trading there um and i think this is um i feel like it's an alcohol al an aa meeting now kind of alcoholics anonymous we've got our four step plan um to basically going bullish again i don't even know if it's four steps four or five steps or however many um however many steps it was um we are now at the final step <laughs> the final step being breaking and holding above um 85 and a half sorry 58 and a half k um so yeah um we are obviously looking quite good so um so that is that is a state of play at the moment um and at, at an inflection point as we seem to be uh, most times i do these videos at an inflection point do we break above and hold above 85 and a half so i, I don't know why i'm saying 85 i'm saying 85 because it's um it is five eight five and a half but yeah fifty eight thousand and fifty eight thousand five hundred do we break and hold above there on the four hour candle closing basis or are we going to get rejected um, and start closing some four hours above fifty seven and a half um at which point we would then well i mean at that point um at that point we would be looking at potentially then a failed a failed break uh break out above these highs and above this level and well we'd have to play it level by level to the downside to see where price got caught but obviously if we came down um from that level i mean you you would suspect we're going to get some support again at 55 but if we fail to get back above um then realistically we're looking to come and touch the the bottom end of the range which for the well for the top half of this wider range would be a 52 um and obviously the lower half would be 56 but it wouldn't look very good if we did that if we got down to 56 if we came down and back tested 52 and bounced off there that wouldn't be the worst thing because all then we are really doing is um, trading sideways within this level so it wouldn't look too bad but yeah does the market have the have the do the bulls have the strength um, to basically break us up because if we get into this range we are going to be looking pretty bullish um, for a potential uh, potential all-time high uh, move up obviously into the deep into the 60 Ks um, so yeah that is looking not looking too bad um, Ethereum Bitcoin yeah I mean holding its own I mean to be honest with how things have been going with Ethereum just holding its own whilst Bitcoin's making this nice move up is um, is is almost um, as good as we can we can come to expect but yeah that's pretty good and obviously this is going to be reflected in a nice move in the Ethereum um, basically Ethereum um, the Ethereum USD pairing so basically Ethereum in F Ethereum Fiat um fiat um but yeah above basically back above that um 17 uh 17 and a half um so um looking good looking good um here for negating this bearish price action looking good for putting in a higher low um and then yeah over 1850 and then we will start to look very good for for nice moves up to new all-time highs um so yeah it has a quite we'll have a quick look at a quick look at the stock market see how they're doing yeah looking good looking good um so that is currently not going to be a <clears throat> a downward drag on the market um dollar index as well <laughs> dollar index it is getting it is getting into that zone as we can see um getting into this zone <clears throat> yeah i mean we've got the line in the sand for literally just like what would <clears throat> probably start to worry people if you break above here but in here it does get dicey but we can expect a rejection. Uh, we could potentially expect a rejection at some point without breaking above here. If we break above here, then I mean, all bets are off basically, um, <clears throat> and we are um, we're going to have a I mean, at least a medium term, maybe even a 
<clears throat> sorry, maybe even a potentially longer term downward move. Um, 10 years, just hovering about up there. It is deciding on its next move also. It is deciding on what it would like, what it would like to do. Um, so yeah, um, have a quick look at those stochastic, but obviously we were talking about the 10 hour, uh, 12 hour and daily in yesterday's video, basically saying if they get moving, they're going to basically get us to 58k and beyond, um, well, get us to 58k then potentially beyond, um, so, w I mean, we know these stochastics are going to be looking good, 4 hour did obviously have a bit of a pullback, but that's a 4 hour, but looking to, to potentially try and turn back up, but here we're going to have the 10 hour, it's going to be, 10 hour is going to be pretty high, I would guess, um, yeah, 10 hour is pretty high, um, but, Got got room to run and room to stay up there. Twelve hour, look at it, nice, nice, juicy move into the into the bullish um, half of this um, half of this scale. So looking looking good to get driving us ba basically above the fifty eight and a half k. Um, and yeah, daily has now turned back up. If this starts to get a move into the upside, um, we are, well, we're certainly going to be, well, uh, just obviously if it gets moved to the upside, based on we're at basically 58k now, yeah, we are going to be in this upside zone. So Stochastic is looking good. It is going to be the Bears, the Bears have got the work cut out for them if they're going to negate this Stochastic and um, price action read um and even the horizontal levels and and get and turn us down from here. I suspect the only way they could do that is somehow outside influence. Um, <laughs> um, not that we not that we ever chart things based or even just consider things based on outward out, out outside influence. But yeah, I mean, very simply, we could just say like the stock market, the stock market turns down from here. But it's looking good, basically. It is looking good, um, and we know we know the positive correlation. We see how similar this is looking to um, the Bitcoin price as well. Um, so yeah, um, Delta went live last night. Well done to all you um, guys that got in on that. I'm pretty sure it was a two x. Um, definitely if you, um, didn't get, um, didn't try and sell too much RLP in one go and got front run and absolutely hammered by a bot, I literally was trying to sell, um, about $850 <laughs> and I ended up getting front run and getting filled at 650 um, for like, I think it was like 13 RLP as well. So 13 times basically $200. Um, is basically $2,600, isn't it? So, um, ouch. Um, but yeah, as long as you guys aren't <laughs> being an idiot like me, then you probably, you probably, you definitely got a 2x out of that. So, if you are selling, maybe you're holding expecting more. I mean, we could definitely get more, in all fairness. Um, but yeah, there we go, guys. Remember, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Always do your own research. And I shall speak to you guys soon.